Hey, you can you hear us now? Where? Before we were like ventriloquists. They were throwing words into your screen and you were trying to read them at home and well, now we're live. so weird, bro. Can Until you we're see that, recorded. bro, right there? I know, I told you, it's right there. Unbelievable. Look her. Check her out there, right over there. Ooh. Look at One guy's picking his Hunk nose. Hunk of burning love. It's right there, dude. Oh. You see it? You're in the top corner. It's right, no. Uh, your other left. You are a gangster. How about right here at the picnic table? That's perfect. So uh, you're the man. However, you all you right. You let's let's this. just do this. I'm hanging out with my buddy Jamie Kaiser here. Hey, Jamie has one of the prettiest GTs. Well, it's not a GT. Okay, Jamie has one of the and prettiest <laughs> bikes, and I'll just let Jamie tell you about it. Okay, well, uh, thanks to my friend Stoney for uh, setting up this interview. I've always wanted to do this, actually, uh, where I go through a bike check and, and have it on video so that people can fully understand the gravity of what happened here. Um, this is a labor of love. This is something that I've been wanting to do ever since. Uh, you know, I'm going to pick on Eddie Fuel a little bit. Uh, when he came out with his, his bike, uh, the F Proformer, I, I thought how cool would that be to to have my own custom made bike. Uh, and at the time, I was going back and forth from between two bikes and I never really would get used to one so I wasn't really progressing at all. And I wanted to go back to my roots of Flatland and the, the 1987 GT Pro Freestyle Tour was always my favorite bike uh, and coincidentally I have one. So I uh, asked a friend of mine who uh, lives in Madison, Wisconsin. His name's Mike Stroman. Mike, I gave you a little plug there. Um, asked him if he would be able to build a bike like this because he kind of does that in his spare time. Um, I gave him the dimensions and showed him what I wanted and he said he thought he could do it, so I let him do it. But it's been a headache and I'll talk you kind of kind of through what I did here and what it took to make this thing. Well, let's start with the overall frame. Um, obviously, it looks just like an 87 Pro Freestyle Tour and that was the whole point because that's always been my favorite bike. Um, I wanted a bike that uh, had the same geometry as that, but yet had the stiffness and the strength of a new school bike. Uh, you'll see that it has in it uh, the uh, mid bottom bracket shell and also integrated head tube, just like all the new school stuff. Um, but what you might not be able to tell on camera is that the tubing is bigger diameter. All the tubing is slightly bigger than the original. Um, and then of course the decals, um, I wanted... I wanted the decals to be exactly the same as the original 87 decals. And so I went with this design and my friend Bo Hansen, uh, who lives in St. Paul, Minnesota, he's a, the, the guy is a fantastic artist. Uh, he designed the graphics for me. And quiet as it's kept, I'm, I work as a police officer for a living. And he suggested, why don't you call it the Enforcer? Like, hey, that's got a nice ring to it. So we called it the Enforcer. So again, that, that was kind of Bo's idea. Uh, and my initials are JK. So that's why it looks like, you know, you see the JK on there. And if you zoom in on the JK portions, you'll see what I try to do is make it appear as though it's the same from the font, same font design as, as the GT. Because um, I always like that, like, again, the with the graphics. Yeah, you can see yeah. the front. Um, so my friend Mike Stroman, lives in Madison, Wisconsin, you'll see the difference between uh, the originals would say 4130 Chromali and then Huntington Beach, California. Mine says 4130 Stromali because his last name is Stroman and Madison, Wisconsin is where this was made. So I thought that'd be a good way to give him a plug um, as, as the one who actually welded all, all this together. Uh, it was a headache though. It took me a month, month alone to find somebody who could bend the down tube because um, where I live, it's really hard to find people that can do uh, specialty things like that. Um, and then Mike had some problems bending the, the, the tubing in the rear triangle. The, these kept wanting to wrinkle. 
so I think what we ended up doing is going with like a slightly thicker wall tubing for that, uh, and that solved that issue. This, this frame design, originally Martin Aparillo, the great Martin Aparillo, if, if you don't know who that is, may God have mercy on your soul, um, also known as the chairman, he had some say in the design of this frame. Um, so that's extra special to me because Martin's always been my favorite writer from back in the day, uh, and he still is to this day. Um, and then I'll point out the handlebars were given to me by the king of the skate parks, Eddie Fiola, and if you don't know who Eddie Fiola is, may God have mercy on your soul. Eddie Fiola actually gave me these handlebars. These are handlebars that are designed by him for his EF Pro former series bicycles uh, that he sells as sets. Uh, he's actually coming out with a new set I hear uh, very soon with a little bit different design, uh, which I might take advantage of. Uh, you'll see the Eddie Fiola sticker on here uh, that my friend Kid Fruman, Fruman sent me. His wife designed those and sent me a few of those. And then uh, because I was out at HB for HB Tuesdays, I got the official sunglass sticker that uh, apparently if you have one of these, you're in. So I, I guess I'm in, you know. And then this sticker here, uh, the world famous HB Tuesday, which getting pretty ground up from doing tricks. Um, that one was sent to me by, by Kid as well. A lot of things that are special about this bike. Uh, again, it's a labor of love. This fork, I'll point out, uh, I had a, uh, standard STA and I didn't want to have to buy another fork so I just used that fork and what I did was it took me a couple hours to do this but I painstakingly reached in there and ground out through the wall of the main tree of the fork so that I could route the cable through here so it come out the, the the fork leg like the original GT did Wow and my friend Mike was able to find these nice dress up caps to cover up the holes so that gave it a nice touch again had people ask me why I didn't go with the original or with the new school drivetrain a couple reasons I did that um, one is the wheels I've had since 2001 and they're bomb proof and I've, I've gotten used to them and I love them so I didn't want to have to get new wheels which meant I had to go with the with the old school drivetrain because you can only do a freewheel on these wheels um, and I wanted the brake to be mounted underneath the, the chain stays like they originally were on the original 87 uh, models. Um, and with the cable running through the down tube. And the whole point of that is basically it looks cool. It keeps the cable out of the way, the brakes out of the way, at least for old school tricks. Um, old schoolers, you know what I'm talking about. You stand on that, that bottom, just behind the bottom bracket a lot. Uh, so it helps out a lot having the brake underneath out of the way. Got the new GT mallet stem. Uh, that's made uh, designed for the uh, for the inch and eighth uh, headset setup. Wow! And it's designed to look like the original mallet stem from '87. So I'm very fortunate that I have one of those. And then the folding standards are not original GTs; those are knockoffs, but they work. Um, they they want a they want a pretty penny for those on eBay. Yeah. So uh, I try to try to save as much money as I could, and these work just fine. So. It would have been nice to go with an exact match of the original Maui Blue from 87. Um, but I was looking on uh, websites on the internet and I found a, a blue that's called Voodoo Blue uh, from a place called Powder, Powder by the Pound. Um, and th that is it's the exact match of a blue M&M. If you happen to have M&Ms by you, pick up a blue M&M and look at it. That's the exact match of the color of my bike. So. Well, since I have you here, there's this little thing Jamie's involved in called 20s for Life. 
Why don't you tell yeah, me a little yeah, about, absolutely. Tell me about that a little bit. Oh yeah, I was wondering if we were going to get to that. Um, my friend Bo Hansen, it's his brainchild. Uh, not so long ago, he decided that he wanted to start uh, a company not, not so different from you, Stoney, where uh, you want to offer uh, things that, uh, ideas and items that promote the idea of BMX. Uh, with a special focus on the old school part of that because that's kind of where how we cut our teeth on that um, So we came up with this idea of uh, 20s for life uh, TFL um, You know 20s for life old school BMX uh, We've got a bunch of different designs. We recently decided on One official design that we're going to use for for everything that that we're gonna make our hope is next year at this particular show we're gonna unveil t-shirts uh, possibly hats wristbands um, and a, a, whole, a whole, whole bunch of stickers. We're hoping just to spread the word, and the whole idea is to just promote the idea of BMX with the, with the focus on the old school part of it. Uh, there's a Facebook page for it. It's called 20s for Life BMX. Uh, go check it out and like it. Um, we're gonna be doing some promoting on there where uh, the first, uh, first 50 or so likes, are, we're gonna send them out some free stickers. So uh, make sure you, you don't miss out on that because uh, again, my friend Bo is, is an artist and he, he makes some pretty spectacular looking stuff. So you're not gonna wanna miss out on that. All right, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I wish all interviews went this well. <laughs> this man was made to do interviews. Um, I was going to say, do you have any sponsors or plugs you'd like to make? And you already discussed the 20s for life. Do you have anything else yeah, you want to tell us Yeah, you were nice about? enough to, to, to help me remember that. You know, I'm 46 years old. And I, I, took a, I took a break from BMX for about 15 years. Uh, probably from like my early 20s uh, through my 30s. Uh, a few years ago, I decided to get back into this. And... I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, that's my friend Troy Dunsmore. <laughs> hey, you got a plug. Um, and the uh, best decision of my life to get back into this and get back to my roots of Flatland because it's something that I've always enjoyed doing. Uh, it has a special place for, for me in my heart for, for various reasons, sentimental reasons, and people that I've met over the years and, and, thing, and doors that it's opened up for me and, and people that I've met uh, like Stoney McGee. Uh, it's brought me places like California to, to meet all the guys that I used to idolize back in the day that I mentioned earlier. Um, and and the, the people that I meet at shows like this, it's, it's just incredible because you meet somebody for the first time and, and because you have that common bond of BMX, it's like you're instantly friends. It's like you've been friends forever. And that is the coolest part about being in this. And I would just encourage anybody that if there's anything that you're into, uh, don't be afraid to pursue it because eventually what's gonna happen is you're gonna meet people just like yourself that are into the same stuff and you're gonna hit it off, you're gonna make friendships and you're gonna form those bonds and you're gonna have more things to do because they're gonna introduce you to other people and other things and other places that you can go and do that thing that you love doing. So don't shy away from it because uh, I'm living proof the building's full of guys just like me too that uh, either they've been in it for 30 years or like me they took a break and then got back into it later. Um, and again, best decision I ever made in my life. Uh, to get back into it, so I'm very happy about that. Trainer Troy, what's about to go down? I'm Troy Kaiser, that's Jamie Smith. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a follow the, instead of follow the leader, the follow Troy's mouth. And that, how's this about to work? I don't know, he just told me to call it the tricks and he's gonna do it. Yeah, no. No? No. <laughs> this is Jeff. What's going on, people? Let me tell you about Jeff. Jeff oh. hooked up an interview with Matt Hoffman for OFG, and the audio didn't work. <laughs> Once in a lifetime moment, and the audio didn't work, but I didn't forget that Jeff hooked me up like that. So Jeff, would you follow me for a second? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Come on. Okay. I made a video where I went to the Corn Hucket Jam, and I was wearing a Redline shirt, and Jeff, re Jeff reached out and said, hey, I like that shirt, where'd you get it? And it was a limited run, so you can't get him anymore. But I love this guy, I love this guy. So, I love you too, Stoney. So good in Hold on. As my way of saying thanks, I'm giving Jeff the shirt off my back. <laughs> I will, I will gladly accept. 
Oh, thanks, Tony. It's washed. It's been worn <laughs> once, and it now belongs to you. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I got an RL22, California Red, same decal as what's on here. Yeah. So I can wear that while I'm cruising around on that bike. That's what I'm talking I about. I appreciate it. See, Albies is so awesome. <laughs> look, look at Jeff's. Look at Jeff's coat. Nothing but good energy comes from Albies. Absolutely. That's all I gotta say. Absolutely. And Dustin. Albies <laughs> gets my props as well. <laughs> He's setting it up right now, but we are chilling with our buddy Mike Carmody. What's going on? Did I say it right? Perfect. And yeah. Mike was at the show last year. He was the OFG fan who came all the way from Ohio. That's right, Cincinnati, baby. I signed my first OFG autograph on Mike's shirt. Wish I had it with me. Still have it, I just don't have it with me. And Mike has a little project here that we're gonna look at real quick. Check this out. Look at that. That is insane. Mike, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Like, yep. What kind of handlebars are these? Uh, these are knockoff knee savers, not the real deal, but cool. They yeah, work. They are very cool. It's a 96 Dino Comp. Okay. And what made you go with Vans? You know, I think it's just historic, retro. You know what's not even retro, it's still going, you know, so um, iconic to the sport. It just seemed to make sense to me. Mm. And how hard was it to get all of these custom-made Vans parts? You know, most of this stuff I made myself. I made the stickers myself. I made the pad set myself. I even made the uh, brake guard myself. So it just takes time and, and a little effort and a little cre creativity to get the job done. I even made the, uh, these are one-off donuts. Those are awesome. The whole bike's awesome, and it's Thank getting you. wet. That's all right, man. <laughs> it's a 96 Dino Comp. It can get wet. It's a, it's a 96. It, it might rust. <laughs> it might actually rust, yeah. And you went with the Skyway rims, huh? Yeah, Skyway, Skyway mags, mags huh? yeah. One of the Skyways. Again, just kind of retro. The only thing that's not Vans are, are the grips and the uh, tires, and I plan to do both with that, uh, make it completely Vans product. That is a beautiful bike you got there. Thank you, brother. Man. And since we have Mike, Mike does speaking engagements. Yes, sir. Mike, what do you do with your speaking enga speaking I, engagements? I am a pastor and uh, BMXing it for Jesus right here. He's BMXing it for <laughs> Jesus. And if someone would like to book you to come and speak or do some BMX for Jesus or do anything else. How, yeah. how do they get a hold of you? Facebook would be the best way. Mike Carmody, C-A-R-M-O-D-Y. That would be the best There's way. There's little kids in the back that want to touch it. Let's get Fans, it to them. Fans, man. Fans. What's up? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I love it. All right, one more time. Yeah. Uh, how do we contact you? Facebook, Mike Carmody, M-I-K-E-C-A-R-M-O-D-Y. Mike, you are one of the big reasons that I do OFG, so Thank you. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. And say, this is Mike, and you're watching an old fat guy relearns BMX. This is BMX. Mike. You're watching old fat guy relearns BMX. Start over. This is Mike. You're watching old fat guy relearns BMX. <laughs> I like how you got into the DJ voice. <laughs>